Okay, we got, a, I think it's an old three Dodge truck here, and I'm going to just demonstrate here using the pressure bleeder. Uh, this is a blue point. You can see the part number and everything. SVT275 blue point uh, coolant universal pressure tester. And what we got here is we got it hooked onto the uh, hooked onto the master cylinder or to the reservoir for the master cylinder rather. And all this thing is is just uh, it's a bladder and a pump. And you want to make sure you hook up your drain here to uh, contain to something to catch it because when you pump it up, eventually initially you're going to lose a little bit of brake fluid out of there. So you want to make sure you got enough brake fluid in there first of all to make sure you can complete the bleeding process. So I'll set my camera down here and uh, see. Oh, let's see here. You got a little thumb screw back here that you turn one way to tighten and the other way to loosen. When you push it in, you're pumping up the bladder. When you pop it back out the other way, then you're building pressure in the reservoir. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll make sure that's tight. We'll push her in and then we'll We'll pump her up and you can see here on the, got a gauge on the pump here, get her out of the light. And uh, you can see the orange mark there is for the is where you want it for the bladder. Then we'll slide this over. Now we'll pump about 15 to 20 pounds in the reservoir, which the reservoir can take that kind of pressure. It's not going to blow it off the mounting or anything. So now we can see we got about about 18 pounds in there. And I got the right front wheel off. And then before I started this, I emptied out the brake caliper, I took the hose off, and I got a wrench here on the bleeder, so hopefully you can see that. Now I'll crack the bleeder open, you could hear the air escape, and we'll see how long, and there's our brake fluid already. It's just that fast, and she's probably about bled out. I don't know, hopefully uh, you can see that. I know when I put this on YouTube, the light will kill. But that's about all as long as it takes to fill up a brake caliper once you got pressure on your master cylinder to push it through. Before I did the video, I had the brake hose off over here and drained her out. I took the brake hose off and opened up the bleeder so she'd all run out. And that's about all I got to do. Just do that, crack open the bleeder, and out comes the brake fluid. So if you've got all four wheels to bleed, that's about all it takes. And we can see here. We lost a few pounds on, we had about 18, now we're down to about 15 pounds on the pressure bleeder. So that's about all it takes. And then once you're done, just uh, release the pressure. And then release the pressure on the bladder and pull her off. And that's about how much we lost in uh, out of the reservoir. This little port here, when you pump up your, it's designed so that when you pump up the bladder, if you're overfill, if your reservoir is overfilled, or your radiator is overfilled, or whatever you're pressure testing, it'll come up through there and go out through here. So if you got a little catch container, then you don't have to worry about spilling brake fluid all over the place. So that's about it.